executing with confidence. Would it surprise you to learn that African Americans and other minority populations suffer from food allergies to a much lower degree than white populations? It surprised me too. And do you know why? Because it's not true. But that's what some thought when I took over FAIR, the largest NGO investing in food allergy research and education. It appeared that food allergies somehow were an affliction that affected predominantly white kids. More specifically, wealthy white kids. And in some ways, it made sense. Wealthier families could afford to shop at grocery stores that offered alternatives to potential food allergens. And when doctors in the late 90s incorrectly started telling families to have young children avoid things like peanut butter, tree nuts, and shellfish to combat the rise of allergens, it made the problem worse. Affluent suburban families flocked to Trader Joe's for sunflower butter and soy milk. So I started asking questions. It just didn't add up, and I was getting emails from kids and parents in the black and brown community. They were asking for help. It wasn't until Dr. Ruchi Gupta, our chief medical officer for public health, surveyed a representative sample of the US population and showed that African Americans had the highest rate of food allergies of all populations. And with that, we had the full picture. To execute successfully, you need accurate data to make decisions. Data shows you what's been happening in the past, and data to show you how much progress you're making towards your goals. Another key to execution is to set big goals. That may seem obvious when we've talked about things like removing 6.4 trillion calories from the American diet, or when we hear leaders like Elon Musk talk about colonizing Mars. In the best-selling book, Built to Last, Jim Collins and Jerry Porras suggested the idea of big, hairy, audacious goals. Your team needs to be energized and inspired by the goals you set. They need to wake up every day knowing what their purpose is when they go to work. And that purpose needs to inspire action.